did he really die of love? He really did, yes. And, and all on account of a cruel little hen? Uh-huh. Oh, poor little chap. It's an affecting tale and quite true. I knew the bird intimately. Did you? He must have been very fond of her. Oh, Katisha, his devotion was something extraordinary. Poor little chap. And, and if I should refuse you, will you go and do the same? At once! Oh, no, no, no! no. There wasn't anything but that! It's all right. It's all right. I'm just a silly little goose! And, 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 and you won't hate me if I'm just a little teeny It's nice. It's nice. We bloodthirsty. You, you got my. <sighs> Katisha, is there not beauty even in bloodthirstiness? My idea oh. exactly. Yes, I'd like to see the tiger from the Congo or the Niger, and especially when lashing of his tail. Volcanoes have a splendor that is grim, and earthquakes only terrify the goats. Yeah. But to him who's scientific, there is nothing that's terrific in the falling of a flight of thunderbolts. Yes, in spite of all my meekness, if I had a little weakness, it's a passion for a flight of thunderbolts. If that, that is so sing, very out, very is very and very out, is so one. I'm requesting on a subject interesting is a maiden all the better when she's tough. True, up is my dominion is the general opinion that you last a good deal longer when she's tough. Are you old enough to marry, do you think? Oh, yes. Or won't you wait until you're 80 in the shade? Oh, no. There's a fascinating frantic and a ruin that's romantic. Do you think you are sufficiently decayed? To the matter what? that you mention, I have given some attention, and I think I am sufficiently decayed. Yeah. So sing very now, very it's very and very out. Hey, so what? Away we'll go and merrily marry no Tommy Terry till day. 